which one of your children do you get rid of first? I love Lauren and Danielle. I mean, I totally related to them because they love to wear a lot of makeup, they like to be flashy, and I completely understood that. For many episodes, the show American Pickers has been engaging millions of antique lovers all over the world, run by some of the most impressive personalities. But some years later, some of these personalities began to disappear from the scene. And among them, Danielle Colby, AK, a queen of rust, a dancer, antique collector, philanthropist, activist, and TV personality, whose personality has been nothing short of amazing. So, what sad tragedy made this character fall off? Join me as we delve into the story of the life, career, and decline of Daniel Colby. If you're a fan of the show American Pickers, you would be familiar with the lovely and lovable character of Danielle Colby, a free-spirited lady with eyes for all things vintage with beautiful, elaborate tattoos that serve as an ultimate expression of her inner feelings. With this in mind, one will hardly believe that she grew up in a small town, Davenport in Iowa, in a Jehovah's Witness family, having little prospect as she might have been limited by social constraints and her affiliation was never a place she could grow in her current craft. But that notwithstanding, it seemed that the burning desire and dream to make it to the world stage overshadowed some of these limitations and was the birth of an icon that today serves as a figure for many of her fans to look up to. She was born on December 3, 1975 and remained in the town, falling in with the family's love for collection of all things antique. It was the building block for her later career that saw her pushed into the limelight. At the long run, something really good came out from her background after all. But Danielle wasn't always contented with just running the antique business with the family. Seems like her free spirit always wanted more. So she moved to join a roller derby team called the Big Mouth Mickeys in her town of Davenport. However, after some time with the team, she had to quit after recurring injuries that forced her to give up on that path. At some point in her life, her family moved from Davenport to Chicago, and that move went on to become a major turning point in the life of Danielle, as she found an art, to which she is so much attached, to this day. It all began one day when her family took her to see a burlesque performance by Margaret Cho and Satan's Angel. Leaving that show that day, a fire was ignited in Danielle, which will also be a propelling force towards another attempt for her to appear in front of a crowd, since her time with the Big Mouth Mickeys. And in case you're wondering what the art of burlesque is all about, it's safe to say that it's a form of parody that was both comic and performative. Originally, burlesque was a form of literature, drama, or musical work that poked fun at something serious, achieving humor through exaggeration, caricature, and mockery. Think of it as a comedic and often bawdy imitation of a more respected work. In the United States, on the other hand, burlesque shows went on to evolve with a particular type of variety of the show that emerged in the mid-1800s. Shows that were known for being both provocative and comedic feature a chorus line of scantily clad women, including solo acts and routines by the chorus line. Other aspects of the show included slapstick skits, witty banter, body humor, singing, and musical performances, which often have suggestive lyrics. Also, striptease became increasingly associated with burlesque, especially in the 20th century, and might have been the reason the show started witnessing some decline after a while, as people might have easily grown a little ill at ease with the performance. But recently, the inclusion of striptease has started coming back to the show and is quickly becoming more common may be due to the growing liberal culture in today's society. On witnessing this show, Danielle became so enamored that she went back to start a group of her own, made up of seven dancers, including herself, and operates under the stage name Danny Diesel. As you would come to learn later in this video, he love for the group might be so much above any other thing that she might be engaged in, as she continues to wax stronger, even tutoring her own daughter in the art. The style of burlesque has changed over time, being influenced by the trends of different periods. The Victorian era versions were more extravagant and theatrical, while later versions became more focused on striptease. Today, burlesque has seen a resurgence and can encompass a wider variety of styles. It can be empowering, 
celebrate body positivity, and incorporate neo-burlesque elements that challenge traditional gender roles, sustained by the growth in liberal culture, which seeks to empower people, especially women, to live out their greatest fantasies. According to available details, her journey with the show started in the 2000s and continues to run to this day. A quick look at her Instagram page gives you a glimpse of how committed she has been to the art, featuring pictures in colorful attires. Move to TV personality. As fate would have it, her life dancing on stage wasn't going to be the peak of her public appearances. Something more mainstream presented itself sometime in 2009 as her longtime friend, Mike Wolf, presented her with a life-changing opportunity to be part of a television show that he co-owned, which is known today as American Pickers. So once again, Danielle is drawn back to her initial involvement with antiques. And this time, it wasn't just a small, insignificant business, as the show grew beyond expectations when it finally premiered in 2010. The job offer came when her longtime friend, Mike Wolf, offered her the position of manager at the antique shop, Antique Archaeology, and this went on to become the place where many got to know about the free-spirited Danielle Colby. Premiering in 2010 on the History Channel, American Pickers was a deviation from the regular antique shows that were on at the time. They took a more regular approach, which made the show more relatable and appealing to a larger audience. Mike Wolf and Frank Fritz, the show's charismatic co-hosts, weren't browsing through pristine shops or attending high society auctions. Instead, they were scouring dusty barns, forgotten garages and overflowing junkyards on a mission to breathe new life into forgotten relics of American history. This rustic approach earned them a place in the hearts of many as they watched long forgotten items that inspired some nostalgic feelings being brought back to life by this group. Mike Wolf wasn't the only one that pushed the show at the time, he also had Frank Fritz by his side. At least the two were the major players in the show at some point. Mike Wolf, with his infectious enthusiasm and signature bandana, brought a passion for unique Americana finds. Finds ranged from vintage motorcycles to weathered advertising signs, his eye could spot potential treasures amidst the clutter. While on the other side, Frank Fritz, the quieter half of the duo, balanced Mike's energy with his vast knowledge of vintage motorcycles and collectibles. Their contrasting personalities, coupled with their genuine camaraderie, became a cornerstone of the show's success. American Pickers wasn't just about buying and selling. It captured the thrill of the hunt. Viewers joined Mike and Frank as they ventured across the vast American landscape, from sun-baked deserts to snow-covered backroads. Each stop was a gamble, a chance encounter with a quirky local character who might hold a hidden gem in their possession. Life with American Pickers. The heart of each episode revolved around the negotiation process. Mike and Frank, armed with their knowledge of the antique market, would assess the potential value of an item. From rusty bicycles to dusty record collections, they had to factor in restoration costs, market demand, and a healthy dose of negotiation tactics. The owners, with their own stories and attachments to the objects, presented another layer of intrigue. Some were eager to cash in on their forgotten treasures, while others held sentimental value leading to heartwarming discussions and emotional connections. American Pickers offered a glimpse into a disappearing era of American history. Through the objects unearthed by Mike and Frank, viewers learned about bygone eras, the rise and fall of local businesses reflected in fading advertisements, the evolution of transportation through a collection of vintage motorcycles, or the cultural shifts captured in old toys and magazines. Each find became a piece of a larger historical puzzle, weaving a narrative of America's past. And Danielle have come to be part of that story. The success of American Pickers went beyond ratings. It sparked a national fascination with antique collecting and treasure hunting. Flea markets and antique stores saw a surge in interest, and people started scouring their attics and basements with newfound enthusiasm. The show also highlighted the importance of preserving history, showcasing the transformation process as forgotten objects were cleaned, repaired, and given a second life. With this gain of popularity, Danielle and the rest of the cast found their way to the public eye. 
While specific premier viewership numbers are elusive, there's no doubt that American Pickers quickly became a ratings juggernaut for the History Channel. The show resonated with viewers for its unique blend of history, adventure, and quirky characters. Social media lit up with discussions about the latest finds, and the show's catchphrases like, let's make a deal, became part of popular culture. In 2020, the show underwent a significant change, headed to the decline that would take Danielle Colby along with it. But first, Frank Fritz, a fan favorite for his knowledge and sense of humor, left the program due to reasons that bordered around his health. He had surgery on his spine and was away for a while. Fans began to ask questions, but it was later gathered from outbursts from Frank that he was willing to return to the show. But it seemed the decision makers weren't so eager to have him back in the show. This shift marked a turning point for American Pickers. Mike Wolf continued as the lead, but the show adopted a rotating co-star format. It was at this time that Danielle Colby, the show's longtime shop manager and appraiser, offered her expertise and a new dynamic to the on-screen team. From her time at the shop, she had already started appealing to many viewers, resulting in a massive fan base that became very concerned when she disappeared from the screen for a while. Questions swelled about what might have happened to her collaboration with the show. And if you stick around for a little while, we're about to address the sad events that might have been behind her sudden disappearance from the show. Danielle's growth and popularity didn't come without a price. Outside the engagements with the show, Danielle had another whole life. Around 2004, Danielle got married to Chad Cushman and even had two beautiful children with him. But from the look of things, it seemed her growth in the show business came at the expense of time spent with her family. At this point, note that Danielle never stopped her activities with burlesque le moustache, meaning that she had split her time between the show and other things that she's engaged in. Typically, this would mean that she spent more time on her work than at home, which has been known to be a strain on so many relationships. So eventually, it seemed Chad couldn't cope with the changes that accompanied the growth to fame and so the two had to call it a quit with the marriage. Back to the show, despite the cast change, American Pickers remains a staple on the History Channel, now boasting over 25 seasons. The show continues to explore the hidden corners of America, unearthing fascinating finds and intriguing stories. Recently, though, there have been complaints about over-commercialization of the show, which has an adverse effect on the followership. Concerns about the show haven't been solely around the activities on screen. The disintegration of the original cast has also been a major concern for some fans, which had led to someone like Frank being replaced by Mike's brother, Rob Wolf. Despite viewership numbers fluctuating, the show no doubt maintains a loyal fan base who appreciate the blend of nostalgia, adventure, and the chance to discover a piece of American history tucked away in a dusty corner. When likened to more recent shows like The Pawn Stars, American Pickers' legacy extends beyond just entertainment. It has long promoted an appreciation for the stories embedded within everyday objects. But it contrasts with shows like The Pawn Stars by reminding viewers that history isn't confined to museums, fancy collections, and old literature. The interest in forgotten attics, dusty barns, and the hands of everyday people was the highlight of that consciousness. The show's success is a testament to the enduring fascination with the past and the thrill of the hunt, inspiring a generation of treasure hunters and history enthusiasts. Now to Danielle's unfortunate fate in the show. After being part of the amazing journey with the American Pickers for a while, things started to change, not only with other casts leaving, but with Danielle failing to appear on some of the more recent seasons of the show. In 2022, Danielle Colby had a major health challenge, which resulted in her undergoing a hysterectomy in October of that year, after she had battled a painful uterine fibroid. It was both a life-changing and emotional moment for the cast, and consequently, she wasn't emotionally ready to get back to the scenes immediately after the surgery. However, from the look of things, she might still have an intention to feature in the future seasons of the show. That's taking for granted that the show is able to withstand the current decline in followership that they have been witnessing. The most insane thing that might hit the show in the coming days is if Mike Wolf himself ends up leaving the show. This might sound so out of place right now, 
but there have been rumors that this might actually happen. The rumor gained traction with his announcement in 2023 about a limited edition t-shirt business that he was starting. Only time will tell what his next step will be. In all these, Danielle has remained steadfast in her dreams to even become greater in the future. Aside from being on the American Pickers show, she had made a go at owning her own fashion brand sometime in the past. The brand was called Four Miles to Memphis and was focused on making some really amazing retro clothes, which were all handmade. A quick glance at the Facebook page of this establishment reveals the last post to be from 2015, meaning that the business is most likely not running at the moment. But for anyone who knows Danielle, you can't help but appreciate the amazing styles that she showcases, which blend amazingly with her unique tattoos, which seem to mean more than meets the eyes. At the moment, it seems Danielle is more focused on her burlesque group, which seems to be her major interest among every other thing that she has been engaged in. Aside from being career focused, Danielle Colby also has a large heart. She is a well-known philanthropist and has invested in different charities, one of which is targeted at helping women, especially those that have been victims of sexual exploitation. Through her burlesque endeavors, she has been dedicated to promoting body positivity among women as well. Among other things, she has been involved in other charity endeavors, being a move to show the fact that beyond all the glamour and busy schedule common with celebrities like her, she still finds time to keep in touch with what really goes on around her. And speaking of keeping in touch with reality, the star hasn't been exactly alone since her divorce from her first husband. She has remarried and currently lives happily with her new husband, at least according to the information available to the public. It seems the matters of the heart remain important. Danielle is currently married to Jeremy Schuch for quite a while now. Her love life has been a bit more complicated than her career life. From 2004 to later in April in 2012, she was married to her first husband, Chad Cushman, who, as we have mentioned earlier, she got a divorce with probably because of her failure to balance her fame and her private life, and she had two children with him. Fast forward to later on, she found love with Alexandra de Meyer, and it seems she had finally found that balance between work and her love life. And in case you are wondering how they met, it turns out that Alexandra had been instrumental in helping her launch her fashion brand, Four Miles to Memphis, as her graphics designer. Later on, just like with the first marriage, the two got divorced in December of 2015. That didn't stop Danielle from throwing her heart back into the game in December 2020, when she engaged to her longtime boyfriend, Jeremy Schuch. The two are currently married, and a visit to their Instagram handles will make you like these lovebirds the more. Jeremy's profile reads, Danielle's hunky husband, photographer, bird nerd, baseball nerd. Finally, it's starting to look like Danielle might have found someone to match her multiple interests. Last we heard, she had been living in Puerto Rico. There you have it, the amazing rise of a star and a touching story of a sad event that might have ended her time on the screen. So what's your thought on this? Do you believe that Danielle might still have a strong presence in the American Picker show if it stays on for a while longer? Or do you believe she has moved on to focus on some other things in her life? We will meet you in the comments and that's where we draw the curtain on this episode. Do join us in the next one.